Once we have finished all our survey edits, we are now ready to create a triangulation or a tin of our survey data. But before we do this, we need to check for any crossing break lines. Crossing break lines are strings that cross over each other and have different Z values or heights where they cross. This creates conflicting triangles when trying to create a, a tin or a surface. To check for crossing break lines, you simply go into the menu up the top, go to tins, and then down the check break lines. In here, for data set one, I'm simply going to type in a view. So I'm gonna set the view, the view icon, and I'm gonna select my view number one. As you can see here, down the bottom left hand corner, that's the only view I have open. I'm not going to tick on data set two. If you do tick on data set two and fill out a model or a view in here, it will only compare what you have filled out in data set one to data set two. Since I'm comparing just one whole view, make sure data set two is ticked off. All right, now what we need to do is go to models four and the first row here is for intersecting strings with valid heights. So simply we've got to type in a model name and basically any crossing break lines that have two different heights will be get placed in this model we call it. And I'm gonna call it X for crossing break lines. I'm not worried about the next two panels. So we'll go down to report type, leave it on 12D report format. And again, I'm just gonna copy and paste the model name that we created just then into the report file name and press enter. And that will create a report with the extension dot .rpt, which is just basically a text file we can open up and have a look at. Colors for intersections. I'm gonna make these colors cyan. So where any crossing break lines are in 12D, they'll be placed in this model called X break lines or crossing break lines. And they'll have a diamond symbol around where they cross, which will be a cyan color. Clean models beforehand, I'm going to tick this on because once we run this and find where all our crossing break lines are, we want to rectify these crossing break lines and rerun this report again. And if you don't have ticked on clean models beforehand, you will have a lot of the old data inside there and you'll still get the results saying they're conflicting when they're not. All right, now we've filled the panel out, simply go down to the left here and select check. And as you can see in the report, the report automatically pops up and it tells us where the crossing break line is at. So we have one crossing break line at the, these X coordinates here, the Y coordinates. So as you can see, it's they're the one point of X and Y, but you can see there's two different level values in here. So we have two conflicting levels and it tells us the string. If you don't have the report being created, I'm just gonna close the report. You can simply turn on that crossing break lines model that we created. Down the bottom here, crossing break lines. And if I select that, and I'm just gonna to toggle off my heights. And I'm gonna turn off my string names. And if I zoom in, I can see my cyan diamond here. So I have a crossing break line at this point here. An even easier way to do that if you don't wanna turn on your crossing break lines model is to simply just go down to the output window and this will tell us where all our crossing break lines are. And you can see in that report, it's shown here too. So you don't necessarily need a report. You can just go straight to the output window. And if you, if you left click on that, the green asterisk means it's intelligent. So it's a log line. So if I click on it, it will display where it is on the screen. As you can see, as soon as I click on this, you can see it highlights where that diamond is that cyan diamond down the bottom here, and there's the point. So we need to rectify this point. So to rectify this point, there are a couple of ways. All I'm going to do is simply, in this case, is just delete the segment. And there we go. So now we won't have a crossing break line there anymore. If I now, because I ticked on clean, I should not get the, the old diamonds pop up. Before you run the report, just make sure you turn up, make sure that crossing break lines model is turned off. Because if you leave that on and run the view again, you'll have crossing break lines in there around where the diamonds are. So again, I'm gonna run this report. I'm gonna leave everything the same. I'm gonna leave the same model, I'm gonna have the same report. 
I'm simply just going to go back down the check and replace my existing report. And you can see now the report opens up and it's blank. So we have no more crossing bait lines. Again, if we went down to the output window, and if I clear that, so if you right click in the output window and then go up to clear window, I've got nothing in the output window. If I rerun this report again, replace, you can see again, nothing in the report. But if I go down to the output window, there's nothing in the output window still. So we have no crossing break lines. We're now ready to go and create a nice tin of this surface.